All right, here we are in the last video in the formatting series on formatting your novel from scratch. Today, I want to do a video that I actually did not plan to do when I started out putting together this series, but I think it'll be really fun for you to see it all put together. So putting together everything we've learned is not me resharing everything that I've shared because that would be a really long video. I'm literally just going to show you a bunch of the steps all put together really, really fast. So I think hopefully it goes without saying that if you want to know actually how to do these things or why I do these things, I need you to go back and watch the video on that subject. They will all be linked below in my formatting playlist. And so thank you guys so much for supporting the series and being excited about it. Let's dive in. We're going to start with a blank Microsoft Word document. The first thing that we have to do before we do anything else is change the size because just looking at this like printer size paper, it does not say novel to me and it's driving me crazy. So we're gonna go into format, document into the page setup and it's US letter size, but we're gonna switch it over to my five by eight. If you wanna know more about this, check out my video on sizing and also my video on adding images because that's what we're going to do in this document so i want it to be a slightly larger than the actual five by eight i'm gonna click ok make sure it applies to the whole document step two let's put in a book title step three we're going to modify this to actually look like a book title i had that favorite font was it this one? Oh, so pretty i'd like it to be bigger yeah really big um, it should definitely be centered and let's give it a bunch of space before it that's above it on top and also a little space below it as well. There we go. Enter. Let's put in a subtitle. Let's modify all subtitles so that they look, I like that font actually, but I would like it to be centered. Next, we're gonna go to layout, put in a page break because we wanna start a new page. Before we keep going though, let's go back to the home page to the style section normal is looking strange to me let's modify it let's make it smaller 11 points pretty average times new roman would be better just looks classier and then we do need to do a couple changes here because remember in the alignment we want it to be justified always we want to have that first line indented and then i think that's it so clicking okay so for that first line we don't want indented but we'll come back to that copyright that's how you make the symbol, by the way. Paragraph C, paragraph, and the year is 2021 now, which is crazy. My name, we're gonna have the all rights reserved, legal jargon paragraph right here, contact info, credits info, ISBN info, and edition info, okay? And then on the next page, we're gonna put in another page break. This would be typically another title page. So I might copy all this gorgeousness so I clicked Control A, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste it in. And maybe that first title page, I think I told you guys, it's usually just the title and nothing else. But this page, let's insert an image with insert image picture from file. And I actually want my Grace House Press logo PNG file right there. Oh, it's huge. So we're going to resize it. my computer screen now because my camera has died and let's bump it down Oop, too far there we go now I'm gonna go ahead and click next page I want to zoom out this is what we have so far now you could put in tons more front and back matter here but let's just count here if the very first page of a book is always the right side then this is left side and then right side and then the left side and I would like chapter one to start on the right so I'm gonna have one more page break and then we're going to go back to styles let's find our header that's book title oh shoot you know what i feel like let's start with this but we're going to modify it so chapter one let's zoom in so you guys can really see it well all right that looks terrible that does not look like a title or a book chapter to me so we're going to modify i'm going to call this my chapter header and then Man, I really, really do like this. So for the sake of keeping things simple, we'll do that, but definitely much bigger. How about 36 looks pretty, probably in the center would be better. I love the preview here. Never blue, because we don't want to pay extra for color. And then I'm also going to go into the paragraph option here because typically chapter headers start a little ways down the page. So maybe, I don't know, say let's try this far. And then typically they're going to have a little space after them as well. Okay, okay, there we go. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see that. That is our chapter header. If we click enter and we're gonna say first line, fanciness, this is what's happening. 
da 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 da. Now you're gonna notice that everything is indented here, which is fine for the second line. We want that, but for the first line, we don't. So let's grab, we're gonna make one of these our first line, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do, keep things life simple, update to match selection. And then I wanna modify it. I wanna call this the first line of a chapter. Okay, so it's Times New Roman, it's 11, but then here's where we wanna make a slight change. Okay, I'm gonna go into the style pane actually and make a new style, cause that was getting funky. So first line, of a chapter okay and then the one thing that we're gonna change because remember that first line does not have this um, so honestly we could just do none and that's fine too. click ok and ok so now there's our first chapter we're gonna go ahead and highlight our first line sorry we're gonna highlight it and instead of having it be the main body we're gonna make it first line of the chapter see how it bounces over third line fourth line etc now we've finished our chapter so we don't want to start chapter two on the same page next page it is and in this case, where's my styles? I have a chapter header that I need to do. Now I'm noticing that that doesn't fit as nicely, does it? So we're gonna go into our chapter headers, modify all of them, we're gonna make them just a wee bit smaller. There we go, that looks so much nicer. And then now I'm gonna click first line of the chapter and here's the first line, oops, I'm still in all caps. Line of chapter two and second line of chapter two, you'll notice that we need to switch it over to main body, which I clicked right there. And there you go. I would really like to insert some character art. Let's do this pretty picture of Ari right here. And we don't want her to go on to two pages. So we're going to set this up so that there's an anchor and then fix it on the page so that I can move it. There we go, let's zoom out and see what we have so far. But what if I wanna take one of my fun chapter headers that I made in our video on chapter headers? Well, let's go ahead and download this first one that was my favorite. Doesn't exactly match our story, but for the sake of this video, it's gonna work just fine. If we were doing this in real life, I would save this as my ebook version because for the ebook, you need to have something that says what chapter it is for the ebooks to create a table of contents. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna pretend that we've saved it as the paperback specific draft and we would like this one to say chapter one. What we're gonna do is click insert picture from file. We're going to insert that chapter one. Look at that baby. That looks so snazzy. Let's zoom in on it. Wow. That is your first page of your book. Seriously, I am like the best chapter header designer in the entire world, obviously. So amazing. <laughs> wow. I just really like that. And obviously if this were a real book, these would be full sentences that would continue on into further pages. If you liked how the chapter header looked here, you wouldn't even have to worry about bleed because as you can see, it is currently within the margins. You wouldn't have to move it. You wouldn't have to do anything because it looks gorgeous, just like it is. Well, there you go, my friends. That is me putting all of the video information together. I showed you how to make sure you include the 10 basic formatting rules, how to input some different front and back matter, how to size the book correctly and resize it if you need to, how to choose different fonts, how to add images, how to add chapter headers. And this is just such a fun process for me because I've gotten comfortable with it, but don't be surprised if it takes you a little while to get to the comfort level that I am. This is me over 10 books into formatting. I've done this for a very long time, so it's totally normal if it takes you a little while to remember where to find things. I would even encourage you to take notes if you need to go back and watch my videos. They are always going to be available for you. You can save that playlist if you would like. So I hope this video series was super helpful to you. Again, thank you so much for doing things like liking the videos, sharing them with your friends, subscribing to my channel, putting on the notifications, all of those things help my channel out so much and I really appreciate it. It's like a free tip jar. And so I just wanted to say thank you again for being here. I really wish I was writing a sci-fi fantasy book right now. And I just hope you guys enjoy this video and this series. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and what other videos you'd like me to do in the future. So thank you again for being here and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.